This is Hydrogen Tap. After receiving a lot of emails asking for more information and measurements on the Aaron cell, I've decided to make this small video. The Aaron cell usually has 15 plates in it, which are stainless steel. They're 0 0.028, 3 inches wide, and 6 inches long. You can see the tap screw hole in the upper left which holds the electrode that goes through usually alternately every other plate but the plate can be reversed so you can make it so you can have two plates hit by the electrode and then alternate positive positive or positive negative when the plates are shipped they're shipped positive negative positive negative you can see how the stainless steel screw fits through the tap hole. The hardest part is when you put the cell together and fit the electrode through, you've got to make sure that each plate is caught evenly and spaced evenly. You can see the two holes in the center there. Those are for the plastic or nylon screws that fit through it to hold the cell together. You can see the screw has two nylon washers on it. The first washer fits on the outside of the first plate. The second nylon washer fits on the outside of the plate caddy. The plate caddy is on your far right and you can see the top has two holes in it. Those holes hold the number 10 wire. The number 10 wire goes to the electrodes. You can see how it fits through there. That nylon screw is about a quarter inch thick. It's a quarter inch and the hole is a slightly bit larger. Since there's no way I can get that hole exactly center, it requires a little play there. The stainless steel is number nine, is number 430, 17% chromium. I've shown in my previous videos that this plate does not put out any garbage in the water, no slime, if you use it with distilled water or filtered water. There's a good view of the spacer I use. I cut that out of a huge piece of plastic. That piece is about an eighth inch thick and it fits right over the plastic screw. These spacers have worked so well that I've stopped even looking any further. An eighth of an inch is almost perfect for the space between the plates. Anything closer in the bubbles from the hydrogen and oxygen that come off cannot get through or between the plates. You need that space. Probably an eighth of an inch is as small a space as you want. But using the same idea, you can make it as wide as you want. You can see the plates, how, how they fit together there. In this case, alternately. The stainless steel fits through the plate on the right and bypasses the plate on the left in this case. There's a good view of the plate caddy on the right. I cut these plates out of a large piece of stainless steel using a bandsaw. Eventually I hope to have a 
machinists do it. But to keep the cost down, I do these myself. The ideal situation is to get so everyone can experiment with the hydrogen system. Remember, this puts out hydrogen and oxygen. There's no separation. And there you go. That's the Aaron cell.